Hello, lovely people of FoodTube. We have a brilliant collaboration today. Alan de Botton. Hello. How are you, Thank sir? Thank you so much. Uh, tell these lovely people about your channel. Um, the School of Life channel is where you should go for all your problems with relationships, work, anxiety, insomnia, all the kind of stuff that keeps us you know, troubled and worried. It's the number one place to get an emotional education. And this is the stuff that you don't get taught at school. That's right, that's why we called it a school of life. Right. It's all the stuff that weirdly has fallen through the cracks. So go check out his channel, watch it, and then you're hooked. What do you know about philosophy? I don't know. Possibly what I think philosophy is, it isn't. So okay, maybe look, you can help me. <laughs> I'd love to help you. Our brain is a faulty walnut. The task of culture and philosophy in particular is to give that faulty walnut things that will keep it balanced, steady, calm, honest, all the things that we want, but we can't do that on our own. You know, we still live in a culture where what's going on in our minds is so, you know, presumed to be disconnected from what we're eating. Tell them what you've told me to do. The challenge is simple. Jamie, how can you help us to think better by eating better? So is there a kind of food that will keep your mind fresh, active, and, you know, keep things in perspective? That's the challenge. Your body is basically like a loofah, right? There's little kind of caverns and pockets where it's just sucking up all the things that it needs. Some things it needs every day, some things it can hold on to and keep over reserves for weeks and months. I can show you foods that are really rich and great sources of things that particularly your brain likes. The more you mix it up and the more whole foods we mix up, the more chance you've got to be the very best we can be. The obsession by one thing that's going to make you clever or fast, I think we need to let go straight away. Yeah, I agree. It's like uh, in philosophy, people always say, what's the meaning of life? It's like, well, life is a, you know, made up of many, many rivers that flow into a central sea of meaning. It's not one thing, but it's funny. We, we live in a culture where people do expect one answer. Now, philosopher Epicurus, one of the great philosophers of the ancient world, said the only things to um, feast on that you need to be a king, he said, are cheese and bread. It reminds us that human beings are not that complicated yeah. in the end. We just, you know, we need a few basic things and we, sometimes we think we're just machines that we can never understand. Some of these things are just simple routes to happiness. This is a collection of things that you like. This is just a, a, a map of happiness. Colours look great. It's just, it's health, isn't it? Shall I tell you what we're going to make? Please. Alla Pesto Tagliolini with his favourite artichokes. Alan, if you can just roll that lemon. And when you start to feel your hands slipping a little, that's yeah. the natural oils coming out. So we're going to go lemon zest, okay? Just a little. You, my bro, are going to put the basil in here. Okay. Grab the nuts and the cheese. We're not using Parmesan, we're using Swiss cheese. Why? Because he likes it. Waz this up. Full whack. Now we stop. So now pour in there. About five seconds of olive oil to start off with. Garlic goes in. Yep. And then we'll squeeze in the juice of a quarter of a lemon. Give it another little waz. We're such idiots for eating badly, aren't we? Well, this is what you teach this, us. What's beautiful about this is a tablespoon is all you need per portion. We're now going to add pasta. This is tagliolini straight into the pan, it's salted, okay? And we'll just give it a little move around and that'll break up. I'm gonna do an artichoke. So there we go. So much of it is inedible, and then the bit that isn't is just great. Divine. What I'm gonna do is slice them this thin. Oh really, that So thin. they cook wow. with wow. and in harmony ah. with the pasta. Okay? Wow. I'm in awe. Here is the artichoke and the tagliolini going in. Wow. Right, and we're gonna just toss it around. The water's gonna emulsify with your Swiss cheese, and it's gonna be sucked up even more so with the pasta. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is how I'm gonna cook in the future. I'm so converted. It smells divine, it looks amazing. This food has got good fats, it's got herbs, it's got the goodness of the nuts. And the answer is, there isn't a golden bullet, and that's not necessarily a golden bullet, but love, care, attention, We'll make you happy. Now, I stressfully wait over here for the verdict. Mm. What I'm loving is that all the different flavours are coming out. It's like listening to music and all the notes are clear, and yet it's coming together in a wonderful symphony. I mean, it, it really is. There's so many... It's like... Can I try some? Yeah, yeah. Having a varied diet, mm. real food, fresh food, 
is the best gift you can give to your mind, body and soul, frankly. You know, it allows us to, to forget that actually you can be happy on very little and that this is the proof of it. And it's so simple. It's happiness is simple, right? With a little knowledge. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, Jamie. It's been, been an so absolute kind. pleasure. Have fun with friends and family in this dish.